And uh, very quickly, we decided to go right into our own stuff and started uh, writing our own stuff and did our own CD, our own album back then. That's a big black thing. LP. 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 Yes. And uh, uh, it was amazing because it hit very quickly and we became a touring band. And uh, uh, it was on our own label for the first 2,000 copies, and then all of a sudden we had record labels coming to us saying, we want your record, and uh, pl please sign up. <laughs> it, was, it was a total reversal. It was, a it was the musician's dream. Real quick success. Absolutely. And for the next uh, five years, uh, we toured every major, I'm serious, every major show that was on uh, uh, in the U.S. We what was were the name of the band? Head East. Head East. Head East. And uh, now we never made it into to, uh, um, Canada, which surprised me. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it never took in Canada. It, never, it was always just a major deal in, in, Hedy, er, in the U.S. Now you headed somewhere else in the midst of all this oh. that led the band to disowning you. Yes. They kicked yeah. you out. Well, you get tired of, of even the best things. You get tired of it. So you look for that next high. Mm. Beer came. Uh, uh, booze. Then that got boring. And then I went into cocaine, and cocaine was, uh, that, really was took you out. that was my downfall. It was, and again, coming from a little town, I didn't want to get into drugs. I, I figured I'd be in music for three years and be an engineer, you know. And you actually graduated oh, with a civil engineering degree. Yeah, yeah, which is, and it's funny, I, I promised the professors I'd never be an engineer. And, uh, but uh, when, you know, when uh, that's all there is, I became a mining engineer. And uh, for five years, God, Use that to get me out of debt and uh, get you cleaned up. Amen. Back on the road. Amen. It was it was truly amazing. I became a Christian uh, out of desperation, out of a choice. I had a, seriously a choice between suicide and God. Wow. And praise God, my wife was saved six months during that time period that I was going through hell. And she kept trying to tell me about Jesus, and I'd say, oh, get up. No, I don't want to be a Christian. I, that's no fun. You can't have any fun. You be a Christian, you've got to wear a big black robe and carry around a 50-pound Bible and memorize the list of don'ts. And, you know, that's what I thought. And that's what all my friends thought. And when I got... But you saw the change in her. Oh, it, but it was disgusting. She was having way too great a life, you know. <laughs> and, uh, but finally, I said, you know, I, I've lost everything, God. I, and take me. Uh, take me. And he did. Mm -hmm. He did, and it changed my life. Wow. And look at this. This mm -hmm. is the first song, the title song uh, from Grafting. Uh, you call this a family adventure. I do. Your, your son-in-law wrote that song? My son-in-law produced and wrote that and song. Produced. Th this is just, well, I'm going to, okay, I'm going to try and show you both, because I took the liner out, which I always do with these things, because the liners are always so interesting. The, the grafting is pictured here, and it has tremendous symbolism. Uh, as we may have picked up in the song, tell us what grafting is about. I have five grandkids. Five. Five. And they all came from single mothers through different, and uh, uh, two of my uh, kids are adopted. Two of them, my sons married, uh, 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 you know, single mothers. Mm -hmm. And uh, another situation which uh, allowed me to have my fifth. And which meant that every one of those had, a, there was a chance they were not going to live. There was a chance that, that especially in the U.S., uh, they were going that those mothers could have chosen uh, the easy way out. They say, mm -hmm. which we all know is never an easy way out. Abortion. Absolutely, and uh, I'm told I am so disgustedly against that. It it just and now the fact that I have five grandkids that changed my life. Ages seven to three. Yes. Right. And I. I can't say enough, and I had to do something. I had to write about it, and that's actually that this topic, this song, was the reason for the CD. Well, and actually, in, if you listen to the words, um, you you talk about our adoption too. You you sing Ephesians one four in love. He God predestined us to be adopted as His sons and daughters through Jesus Christ, in accordance with His pleasure and will. You can't imagine. Not having these treasures oh, in no, your life, these I five can't. little ones. To me, to me, it was the best way to describe the feeling I had for my grandkids, to to explain the fact that God, God so loved us, He sent His Son to where we were adopted into the family. My gosh, you can't you can't explain love any better than that. <laughs> I'll tell you what I am thrilled about is uh, the way God is using you around the world now. Um, I think you've been to India recently. Mm -hmm. the, the song you're going to sing is really your statement of faith. Oh, 
it, it's my, <laughs> it's a statement that says, I truly believe there is only one, there was only one prophet, there was only one Lord, one Son of God, and He chose to die for us, and because of that, we have, we have the ability to go and face God one-on-one. -on -one. And He doesn't see us, praise God, because if He did, we would be tossed into hell quickly, no matter what we did. We'll never be good enough, but because Jesus Christ, His Son, died on the cross for us and His blood was shed for us, we're covered. Jesus Christ, no other. And how dare anywhere in the world He's made fun of? How dare anywhere in the world uh, we are, uh, the Christians are made fun of and we just sit back and take it. And I, it's driving me crazy. I've seen it for 20 years and it's spreading all over the world. It scares me. And I wanted to write a song about the fact, the true fact, the, the, the honesty that I believe that hasn't been said enough. Mm -hmm. And uh, it came out in a song which Dan also wrote uh, called... Your son-in-law. Yes, called Only Men. Uh,